Hello, welcome back to another Fabulous Room channel. I'm Jacob from Javis here, and today we are playing with Growing Together. Growing Together is a series on my channel of where we're playing with the experience pack for Growing Together and exploring some of those things, but also is a sequel series, The Birth of Death, which is where we follow Mindy, who is right there breastfeeding her child uh, from birth, literal birth, to literal death. I was strong feeling this is going to be broken up into three LPs. So the first LP is already done. It's called Birth of Death. I'll link it up in the card. And if you continue to watch that one, you want to start from the beginning, you want to watch it to where we're at right now. All Growing Together other episodes also get fed into that LP as well, but it's a separate playlist in case you guys don't want to worry about it. You just guys just want to jump in. Totally understandable. Then, the next LP I have a strong feeling will be like a mini-series all about Mindy's elderly life, when she is an elder and what she's going to be up to then. I'm not sure yet. She's still a young adult. I do have the amount of episodes until she is an adult. That's for me to know, not for you. And we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. I'm very, 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 very excited. We have lots of things to do today. This episode is all dedicated to the brand new infants. So last week's episode was the birth of those brand new infants. That is Maggie and Aaron, by the way, are the are the new ones. So she's actually breastfeeding Aaron. He just woke up from sleeping. Maggie was up. She was doing some tummy time. She learned how to lift her head, actually, which is really, really fun and really, really good to learn. What's it over there? Maggie just lifted her head for the first time. There's so much to look at. And so she just needs to practice more and more tummy time to learn more things. And so that's basically the goal here. I have until a certain date to do it and so it's all good and then also her parents or her grandparents are here these are the people that raised mindy for the most part if i'm being honest with you harry and shauna really were there more than her parents mindy's parents especially jennifer who left her when she was a child and she has stayed in contact she has since paid off jennifer she's out of that debt that she was in with her mother for a minute there for the most part it's this is this is what it is. Her best friend Evie also came over. We're trying to figure out if it's Evie and her are still going to be able to get along and stuff. I still have yet to really figure out if that's going to be the case or not. Because Evie is notorious for a flirt. Uh, she has flirted with both Mindy and Iggy. Which is her husband. Iggy's right here. And that looks like maybe he's doing something with Andrea. Oh my god, they're hugging. That's so cute. Hold on. That's adorable. Okay. So yeah. So this is Harry. We haven't really seen Harry. Harry doesn't show up very often. Harry is a professor in college. And then we also have Shauna, who is down here. This is her grandma. I don't remember what Shauna does. She's an internet pronounced personality slash Instagram searcher. Did not realize that. She is an elder. They have 11. She has 11 days left. Oh. Oh, it's going to be. It's going to be a rough one when, when, when they pass. Okay. Back, back over to Aaron. Andrea is right there. She is a toddler. She's been doing a bunch of toddler stuff. This this is Maggie. I did give them all makeovers. You'll see some of their outfits as we go through. This is Maggie. She's crying because she's trying to figure out how to go to sleep. They're both very blonde, which is really weird to me. I wonder if it's part of Iggy's gene line because it's not a part of, of Mindy's gene line. Both her parents both have dark hair and her grandparents also both have dark hair on both of her parents' side. I'm not really sure on that one, but that's okay. This is Aaron, which you guys will get to see a little bit of as well. Like I said, he's pretty much awake. He's hungry. We're, we're doing that. We're going to see Oh, also, I think we learned a quirk of hers. Oh, it must be Aaron. Aaron frequently sneezes. I've never had this quirk before, so let's read about it. This infant is always sneezing. Infants with this quirk, their little nose of particles and germs more frequently is perfectly normal and healthy. He's learned zero milestones, and that's one of the first things that we're going to actually be doing today is working on those milestones. As soon as she gets some breastfeeding, we're actually going to let's see if he's going to take a shit or something. But then we're going to jump directly in. And this episode's all about speed running like infants. I'm not going to lie to you. I might have Iggy go ahead and welcome in our guest. Let's go ahead and welcome Harry. Okay, I don't want her placing him. I just didn't know if, like, he had to poop. And he didn't get the cork where he tingles or shits himself after feeding, which is great. That's amazing. All right, we're actually going to put Aaron down there because I really don't want him back in his crib. That's the goal. Let's put him back down there because we're going to really work on that one. And then I'm going to have... Oh, here's Aaron's first visitor. Aaron finally met a nurse from outside of his household. Very exciting. Oh, oh, it's the grandpa. Grandpa came and said hi. That's so cute. And then we're just going to jump directly into tummy time. Once we have some stuff going on, more stuff, I'll pop back in and I'll talk about it. Looks like age just befriend an ambitious, ambitionless sim. Ambitions generally prefer to prioritize things other than their career or keeping a pristine house. I'm going to not set it as a... Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing? I'm going to actually ask for him. I don't, I don't know what grandpa's doing. Hopefully, uh, and I, I know that Evie's here, and, but is it not going to work here? We might just be able to apologize. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we made some amazing headway last night because Aaron didn't fall asleep to like three. So Maggie, the only thing we learned about Maggie is the fact... I didn't click on her. 
Whoops. Is that she's an early riser. She likes to wake up with the sun. That's quite annoying, but it's fine. Aaron, on the other hand, other than the fact he frequently sneezes, he actually learned a bunch of things, which is great. He learned how to roll over, and so now he can do tummy time on his own, which is which is really, really good, um, which means we can start moving on to other things. Oh, she's hungry. I do have breast milk in the fridge. Okay, we need to get the breast milk. He's tired, but he's going to have to get up because we got to feed the child. His parents seem to be sleeping a bunch, which is okay. Oh, she's fixing the toilet that I didn't even know was broken. I guess that's good. Sink just broke now. That's fine. Come back over here to Aaron. We can feed him the breast milk. I can also just go ahead and replace that. It's not a big deal. Back up to you. She, um, I want to look and see what she is. So she is a sunny sim. These are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoys. So she just likes the constant attention, which means that we should be able to sit here and do tummy time for a little bit until maybe a nap. She learned how to cue. That's good. And then he should be coming up to feed him. And Andrea is still asleep. Honestly, I just love the fact that there's three of them. And honestly, we have so much help. I brought in extra help because of the twins and stuff. That was like one of the things I had decided early on when they were going to have twins. If they were going to have twins. Was I'm happy. That's working out. Is like Aaron awake? No. He wants to go back to bed after he gets done. I'll cook up to feed. Also, I kept doing tummy time outside of this thing, and I watched a few people on YouTube doing just tummy time in it, and it does make a difference. I highly recommend doing tummy time inside the designated areas, even if it's like one you get off like CC wise or whatever. I do, I do recommend 110%. So I want to point that out. Okay, it walks them in, which makes it much easier. Oh, she rolled over. See? Perfect. That's great. Now she's a happy spitter. Aaron is prone to spitting up during feeding infants. They have spare quirk are, are perfectly normal. Their digestive system is just still maturing. Did, did, did we get spit up on? Yep. Uh, go ahead and put Aaron back to sleep. As he should be he should be tired. Yeah. Well, we have more stuff going on. I'll come back. We're gonna have a conversation. This video is not about this. Just wanted to to mention it here as it will become somewhat of a bigger conversation a little bit later on. Ingy, if you guys did not know, I mean you guys did not know, is somewhat of a flirt. He ends up flirting with everything. It it's just what he does. So normally the first interaction after I say hello to someone for the first time in the pie menu before going and exploring other categories is flirting. It doesn't matter the gender. Iggy, if you guys did not know, is bisexual. Mateo is bisexual. Actually, Iggy is probably more like pansexual. Mateo is bisexual, and our main character is bisexual as well. Mindy, she's had a girlfriend in the past named Mari, who was a lesbian. Not important, but also it was a very big conversation for birth to death of, you know, where we thought Mindy was going to go and stuff, and some people had other opinions, and I just really always saw Mindy as a bisexual sim. Mateo calls him up and says, let's go to the flea market together. Since I've known Iggy, in the down right corner over here, Iggy has always had a one single one since I moved in, since Iggy moved in, and that is support with Mateo. I do think Mateo would go. I personally don't want to go though, so I'm going to say no. I do think Mateo would probably go, and I do think Mateo would flirt. This is not something I want to explore this angle of dramatics and cheating and like all this other stuff until much later on, only for the simple fact. But the kids are so young that I didn't want to explore anything that could be traumatizing in that regard due to the fact that, you know, Mindy had such a traumatic childhood. One of the things I didn't not do when she got married was her backing out of the marriage first. It was supposed to be in two parts. She was supposed to have cold feet and she was supposed to get married again to him because she was going, no, he wouldn't do that. Because of all the dramatics with Evie during the, the one thing and during the engagement dinner, I actually ended up just having her get married and being like, they went through this. She is faithful. It's fine. She's a loyal sim. That is something that Mindy is. And so she is monogamous. I thought about this time and time again. If they would have an open relationship. Or if they would be polyamorous or anything like that. And I do strongly just believe that Mindy is monogamous. Because of so many other things that have gone on in her life. But I just don't think she would be open to more people in her relationship. Even if that's just a direct combination of her parents. That being said. I just want to touch on it here. There's a few other things I want to touch on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. That I'm going to briefly talk about. They have both accomplished their goals in doing tummy time on their own which is great which means that they can start doing tummy time when like we're sleeping and stuff so now we're moving over into speech and other things in that regard. Um, hopefully they can learn to creep really soon and maybe we can actually teach them how to crawl because we didn't get to do that with Andrea we're making so much better progress with the twins than we are with Andrea speaking of Andrea I'm pretty sure I figured out what she's going to be when she grows up 
and that is a scientist. The cool thing about this series, because we are just following Mindy, they're going to move out. They're going to live their own lives. Andrea will eventually move out on her own and live her own life and will be grandparents, which I've never played under the perspective of grandparents before. So I'm quite excited for that. So I do think that's where we're headed directly. I also, for the house, changed up this room. I think this room is going to be an ever constant change, but for going into winter and stuff for this season i made it so like we have a place to be able to play and then this is to work out if anybody wanted to work out and also i got a puzzle table this is also just a game table period and then a bonsai tree i'll talk to you guys soon with more infant updates it's the end of the next day and so i figured i'd come in here and give you guys the complete update on what's been going on in the house so for andrea because it's not really about i've really been focusing on toddlers andrea has doing freaking amazing under great circumstances she learned she mastered the pony skill so some other things she needs to study letters oh she did do the nesting okay so study shapes can be done without andrea is ready to take on letters study with nesting blocks or by practicing flashcards with an adult and she also learned to learn how to run so we're working on some of those things but for her like movement skill she's a level three communication level three thinking level three she maxed out her imagination skill and her potty skill already maggie over here is doing pretty good as well she only knows how to, she's only learned how to reach so she's a little bit further behind but she did we didn't learn how to creep already and she's slowly learning how to do the talking we haven't really been focusing on talking to be fair now for him he actually learned how to grab now for learning to put the toe in your mouth which is like one of the last things you can do in fine motor as an infant i actually have learned to let them kind of do that on their own he'll wake up in the middle of the night or something or those lines and do it himself it's just how it works so now we get to practice learning how to sit up there's a few other things they can learn i'm pretty sure by tummy time but we're mostly out of tummy time era i'll continue doing tummy time when they're both everybody's sleeping and stuff so he also slept the night for the first time i don't think she has she is not she's actually not done like he has a few first she doesn't all right with that being said i'll come back in when a few more things Once again i don't know if i showed off sitting i bet i probably did with andrea because she was an infant for such a long time so it's kind of work so when they learn how to sit up they can do the high chair and we can do taste testing we will be doing taste testing with one of the infants in this regard i don't know which one though. maggie learned how to sit up which now she can practice standing and now she can use the high chair so we'll have to explore some high chairing probably not today because it's 11 11 but definitely at some point one of the final things we're going to do today for infants since i do think i did a pretty good job with speed running them they obviously can't crawl yet we'll work on that over the next few parts and the next few episodes of the series this was just like a very infant centric episode since they were just born andrew is actually going to be out of toddlerhood which is kind of crazy her birthday is tomorrow their birthday is like two days after Winterfest, and so i do need to decorate for Winterfest. i'll do it off camera i'll probably do it tomorrow we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some taste testing is what we're trying today which i don't think i've showcased outside of the live stream for youtube so quite the excited to showcase it. this is where they get to test food and then we'll, we'll learn if they like it or not that was rice porridge oh it's always nice to discover a new favorite texture which is great let me do a few of those she's also a messy eater oh my word okay that's definitely something that's for sure she'll need to get a bath after this okay with that being said though we're gonna go ahead and end this part here i hope you guys enjoyed i know this one's a little bit more broken up and a little more sporadic than i've tried i would say i would normally try to do just because i was really focusing on infant let me know how you guys are feeling also do you guys like the fact that andrea i'm pretty sure will be a scientist when she grows up do you think she should be a scientist or do you think she should be an astronaut let me know in the comments down below i think both are great jobs for her going forward i was thinking more scientists because of paleontology i feel like she's gonna really enjoy dinosaurs and things under those lines which is what my brain was kind of going towards and then also how do you guys feel about iggy's development i know a lot of you guys are gonna be kind of sad about iggy's developments because i think a lot of you guys are in support of the relationship especially you guys in falling i know iggy actually my sister's number one was mateo my number one was mateo and it's gonna really it's gonna hurt if we end up going down the route of maybe iggy cheating or even if something happens and they don't end up together Mindy's gonna be really depressed for a long time. I I know this for a fact. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. But with that being said, I'll talk to you guys all very soon with another video soon. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>